So in this demonstration, I'm going to basically create a really simple figure using Blender version 2.78 using a method where I basically kind of draw the armature first and build the figure out from the armature. So I'm just going to start with a new document here and straight away I'm going to go into the edit mode and I'm going to um, press Alt M on the keyboard to merge its center. So that's going to take all the points that make up the cube and merge them into one point. Now I'm going to go and view it from the front and what I'm going to do is press E on the keyboard to extrude and press Z on the keyboard to lock that extrusion into the Z axis. And I'm going to extrude again and E for extrude and hold down X on the keyboard and E for extrude, hold down Z. So basically what I'm doing is drawing half of a, a stick figure with points where I want the joints to be. Extrude on the Z axis. And I'm just gonna do this very rough in this demonstration. Here I'm just going to press E for extrude and I'm not holding down any key there. Just to do a very, very rough kind of hand. And here, I'll click here, right click there, then E for extrude and X on the X axis. E for extrude and Z for the Z axis. E for extrude, Z on the X axis. And just E for extrude for a foot. And here I'm going to go E for extrude, Z axis to do a neck. E for extrude. Now I want a point in the middle of my head. And E for extrude on the Z axis there. So now I'm going to go out of the edit mode, go into the object mode, and I'm going to um, open up the modifiers and I'm going to put a mirror modifier on that. And I'm going to add another modifier, which is the skin modifier. Now it's quite blocky here, so um, I'm also going to apply a subdivision surface modifier and I'm just going to turn it up a little bit so it's a bit smoother. Now, I'm going to go back into the edit mode. And if you click this little button here, you can see your points through it, bearing in mind that you want to just work on the side where you have your points added. And if I right click on a point and um, do Control A on the keyboard and drag, I can scale out that point. You can also click on points and move them around and there's a little bit of an art form to it. Another thing that you probably want to do is add points. So what I'm going to do is right click on that point and right click on that point and then press W on the keyboard and select subdivide and that adds a point in the middle. And again I'm just going to do control A to drag and drag that out. So you can see that you can you can use this method to create a very rough figure. I'm just doing this very rough for now, something like that, for example. And oh, obviously you can also, when you do control A, you can drag the other way. Oops, I'm not very good at this, to taper, to taper points. Um, let's see if I can do it, there we go. Now, once you've got this done, what you can do is you can come back out of the edit mode and you can apply a mirror modifier. And what that means is now, if you um, adjust the armature, it will it, each side will be independent. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select this option here for create armature. And as you can see, it's created the armature from the um, points and framework that I've drawn already. And then what you can do is you can come down here into the pose mode. And in theory, you can sort of there I've like right clicked on a point and you could do, in this case, I'm just gonna hold down the R key and move it. So just a really, really simple method for creating a figure with an armature inside it. That's all.